global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. And please, if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. Horizon Debo is a social cultural group in the Igbo land that is in charge of one or two things, you know. And but right now there is another group coming out from Ohanes and Debo, and um, what they're trying to do is to see how they can displace Ohanes and Debo because according to them, the Ohanes and Debo are not really working as they ought to in pursuance of so many things which they have made mention of but right now there's a twist because something has has happened and it's like they will cease to exist but guess what there's a lot of issues which we are going to unveil my colleague will read the news so that after then we'll go into the discussion the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, has allegedly withdrawn the registration of the splinter group of Ohane Zendibo, saying it has not fulfilled all the requirements for registration. The traditional ruler of Ibaram in Anambra East local government area of Anambra State, Igwe Nkele Nzikwe, had made waves over the weekend after inaugurating a splinter group of Ohaneze, making Base Onye, Onye Chonam as the President General of Ohaneze worldwide, with himself as the Chairman of Board of Trustees, BOT, adding that all those holding offices in Ohaneze before the inauguration has ceased to function in those offices. The President General of the splinter group, Onya Cholam said the group's major assignment is to ensure that the president of Nigeria in 2000, 2023 should come from Igbo land and warn that the Igbo might resort to self-help in handling insecurity in the area due to activities of the killer headsmen. He said, I make, I make bold to say that come 2023, an Igbo man will be elected as the president of Nigeria. The unity of Ndibu is paramount and sacrosanct in actualizing Igbo presidency in 2023. We are confronted with frauds leading to diverse goals but we will see it there is only one road that can safely recommend for us to trend and it is the unity of nigeria and Igbo presidency in 2023 we need peace and security in Igbo land and Nigeria at large. We need development, empowerment of Ndibo in the strategic government positions. We need equitable, equitable distribution of national resources and national development projects in Igbo land. We want the federal government of Nigeria to equally address the genuine agitation of our people. The president must sit up to the current security challenges in Igbo land to dissuade our people from inevitable self-help. However, confusion troll yesterday, the alleged withdrawal of the registration granted the group by the Corporate Affairs Commission. A statement by the commission which is circulating in the social media reads, This is to inform the general public that the certificate of registration number 1T1444918 issued inadvertently to the trustee of Ohanes and Libo General Assembly has been withdrawn by the Corporate Affairs Commission. The trustees of the association have have been advised to return the said certificate to the commission as same has been cancelled. The condition for the issuance of the certificate have not been fully fulfilled. However, the chairman of the Splinter Group of Wales and Debo General Assembly, Mr. Basil Onyechonam, is still talking tough against the leadership of Chief Niangwodu, lead, lead Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, telling the federal government to address genuine agitation of the Ndibos. Reacting to the deregistration of the Sprinter Group, Deputy Publicity Secretary of Ohanes Ndibo, Mr. Chuks Ibebu, said the mainstream Ohanes Ndibo, led by Chief John Niangwodu, was in support of the move by the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, to withdraw the certificate of incorporation erroneously issued to the individuals. According to Ibebu, the certificate should be withdrawn because it was illegally registered and should be probed. He said, and I quote, there are due processes to register such an organization and it was not followed. The circumstances that led to the registration should be proved. Something must have gone wrong in CSE. I think that the enemies of Nibo are at work. 
These chaps are enemies of Nebo and Desperados. They should be arrested for impersonation. Ohana's leadership under Wodu is intact. There is no crack whatsoever. Enemies of Nebo are behind these and we shall soon unmask them. Can this kind of thing happen in the north or west? I doubt it. We must punish Igbo black legs and sell out. We cannot tolerate this treasury any further. But in the counter-reaction, the splinter group of Hannes and Debo has urged members of the public and Debo to disregard reports that its registration certificate have been withdrawn by the Corporate Affairs Commission. Dismissing the report as fake news, Publicity Secretary of the new group, Sir Chimzon Bam Mwalu, said the letter was not from the CAC, adding that the group is intact at CAC portal. He said in a statement, I quote, he said the general public, public is hereby informed to disregard the fake news being circulated on Facebook by some paid agent claiming that our CAC certificate has been withdrawn. The letter is not from the CAC. The newly registered Ohanes and Debo led by Barrister Onye Chonam is intact at the CAC portal. And that's just it. And this is really, really an interesting news because... Um, I, I can see that there's a, a tussle for power here. I can see that uh, um, maybe the Wannes and Debo have not been performing superbly and these young, vibrant men are out to hijack the thing out of their hand and see how they can run the show. Now, the first thing I want to say here is that we do not know because we have not seen their strength yet or evaluate their performance. So we cannot tell if it's what we are seeing there is just um, creating... Um, a splinter group of Wales and Debo just for selfish personal gain or for self-recognition because most people love it. They believe that uh, Nian Wodu had been there for a long while and possibly they want to hoist him out and take over so that they can get to see the president and maybe some small, small stipend that goes to Wales and Debo. That's the main guys. That's not go to them Nia again. Wodu. But looking at the scenario, do you think that uh, uh, these youths youth are really out for themselves or maybe they're just tired of the snail-like attitude of the Johannes and Nibu in fulfilling some of the wishes of Nibus? Let's even assume that they're tired of Niamodu. We're assuming now okay. that they're tired of Niamodu. They're, they're tired of his style of leadership. They're tired of the fact that uh, whatever he's doing is more political than realistic. They're, they're tired of the fact that he's not representing Nibu very well as it ought to but that's not the way to go about it trying to uh, you know break out of an existing group having a mother group within the group it speaks so much it yeah, shows division. disunity yes. it shows division it shows lack of oneness it shows that you can't if you can't coordinate a group how can you coordinate um a people how can you coordinate a movement you know and that doesn't speak well because the same way they broke out from ohane is the mother group that's the same way another group will break out from them and exactly. will not have like ohane is a one two <laughs> three four till <laughs> ten because before 20, and possibly sorry possibly the south easterners will now make their choice who where which do they belong they're not they're not have a very divided house because before the 2023 will come in you will have probably Ohanes and Debo 1 to 10 and all of them will be queuing up to Abuja to go and say don't worry we, we the real Ohanes and Debo will deliver Ibo to you mm. this one will come again we we are the original one don't mind those ones they are fake they are, they are saboteur we are the original one we have all our clan our men, monarch is following us it just people will just be laughing say look at the people who are saying they want Biafra look at how they can't even Confused organize themselves and all of that. You know, so I feel that even if um, you don't believe in the leadership. Well, Nyawoda has been there for a very long time. Really. Yeah, that's if, true. if you feel that he has not been performing within there and then show your strength. If you you feel you have popular vote and everybody is disgruntled in the group, then rise up in one voice and vote him out. I, I think your, your recommendation is perfect. But then looking at the constitution, we don't really know what the constitution reads of you know if Nibu. there's room for referendum at a point you know whenever there's an issue concerning the, the group, group if they can be referendum you know voting by members and so that they or can it, reach a it, consensus or is it, and a, all of that. is it some sort of leadership role that has to do with kingship where when you enter it is going to be a forever thing. yeah because, till you die and all of that because that's another thing uh, yeah now another thing that I, I i wanted to talk about is you know when this e group came up uh, a lot of people People were pointing at Biafra that um, IPO that they were behind it. But you know, looking at 
what this guy had said clearly shows that IPOP is actually not behind it. Because in uh, when we were reading through some of the statement which was picked from his mouth, first of all, he solicited for peace and security in Igbo land and Niger at large, which I know that Biafra cannot say that. Yeah, and also they say they need IPOP, development. Actually, IPOP, IPOP, yeah, can IPOP, say IPOP can say that. Now he also talked about the, the need for development empowerment of Ndibos, You know, in strategic government position, we need equitable distribution of national resources and national development projects in Igbo land. And also they went further to talk about uh, the need for unity of Nigeria. An Igbo presidency in 2023. IPOP so can never say cannot say that because yeah, I know that true. over time they've been trying to sway them with the Igbo presidency, presidency, but they have always backed out and all of that. But, you know, with this situation that we are seeing, do you think that uh, people will be convinced to do anything with them? Don't forget that uh, fairly recently we've talked about uh, the Arewa youths, you know, trying to relate with Ndibo, yeah. you, uh, the Ndibo uh, youth, so that they can bring up someone who will represent them uh, in this thing, forthcoming 2023 uh, presidential election, election, if there will be any. So, looking at all of this, do you think that that tie will still be there, that push to continue I, I, with them? I even feel that probably that's why there's a splinter group. Maybe they're seeing a bigger picture that if okay. there's any synergy between these two, there will be money bags, there will be yeah, exchange of, of, of so many things. So exactly. let's position ourselves to be among the beneficiaries of this money. But if you ask me, with this break in, in between them, even now the world begin to wonder these people are they even serious? serious they exactly. The money and I, I feel these are just youths who are just. This is not IPOP. It's yeah. just youths who are restless. Yes. They feel we need this change. These old guns that tying us down, that's screwing our peace. We need it now. Want it now, now. So I, I, I feel that, uh, yes, it, it, there has to be some sort of synergy between the old and the young. Yeah. The old bring in the experience. The young bring in their strength. The push, yeah. The push, the energy, the drive. So that together they and harness it and arrive at a desirable conclusion. But if the youth begin to see the old as slow and rickety, and the, the old begin to see the youth as reckless and unthinkable, restless, then, restless and unthinkable, then obviously uh, they may end up not getting anywhere. All right, that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, just go to our comment section. But then the kind of advice to Namdi, uh, Nia Umudu, I think he needs to wake up to his responsibility because uh, possibly these guys have sat back and looked and they've realized that he has only been talking, not doing anything. At least we've seen the level of insecurity in the, you know, in the, the east. In southeast. It's, it's, uh, it's really terrible. And it seems as if they are just there watching the whole thing happen. That's just talking. Yeah, I, I believe at a point like this, uh, Nia Umudu should brazen up and pick some of his key uh, members of board of trustee and take a walk to the presidency and say, oh God, this is it, this is it, this is it. These are the things that we have seen. These are the things we have seen. Please, you need to grant us a listening here and see how you, so you can solve some of the insecurity problem that we are having. But none of such is ever coming. Well, that's where we are going.